Yes, uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk here. Um, I, I, I wanted to, to make the title be a little bit uh, mysterious, so uh, maybe at the end everything will be, uh, will be clear. Uh, so, um, okay, so the outline of my talk is, is pretty simple. Uh, as I, I know, know that no, not everybody here uh, deals with random matrices, so I, I did some, some gentle introduction, some uh, pr pr prime uh, basic results of random matrix theory, because what I would, would like to study and what I, what I will tell you about are the random eigenvalues and random eigenvectors. Okay, uh, and I, 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 will, I will discuss basically the, these matrices, which I call dynamical, which is a certain type of random matrices, uh, which turn out to be very interesting. And uh, what you, you'll see in what sense. Okay, so there are basically two two basic classes of matrices. I call them Hermitian and non-Hermitian. It's not very uh, it's not a very fortunate uh, name since uh, it doesn't only apply to Hermitian matrices, they, this can only be, and uh, this can also be unitary matrices and others, but we'll see that in a second. And uh, this is just uh, the picture to, to fill up the, uh, the, the slide. Okay, so what are random matrix, what is my random matrix theory? It is pretty simple, as the name says, uh, we're considering random matrices. The, the context, the physical context of why we, ch why, we, why we deal with those is, I mean, you can, you can of course uh, look at uh, some applications in nuclear physics which started uh, this, uh, this approach and other, uh, other approaches as well, but we, we look at it from a simply just uh, mathematical point of view as just a random matrix of size, square matrix, which is filled either with re real numbers or complex numbers or uh, quaternions, what have you. But the important thing is that we, we look at the statistical properties of such matrix, okay? So we, uh, we look at the averages over, this, over this, these random matrices. And uh, uh, of course, as a, the most basic, I would say, the most basic observable one can look into is the spectral density and the Green's function. The spectral density is simply uh, you have random matrices and you look at, at eigenvalues of each of these matrix and you basically construct such an observable which, which tells you where the eigenvalues are and you plot the, uh, the histogram or in, that, in this sense you, you have some formula uh, which uh, which tells you how the average matrix uh, behaves. And likewise, there are these this, this objects which may be, uh, which are known under the name of green functions because they, they, they basically arrive, uh, we, we arrive at them in the context of quantum mechanics, but for us it is important that these two guys are, are related to each other and uh, if we know this guy, we can basically infer this guy. So by this formula, which is just some basic complex uh, analysis. Okay. So this, uh, so this is this is first part which we will need. The second part, which which is important, I, I say I would say in the random matrices, is that uh, we have a certain decrease in degrees of freedom. Okay. So we are looking at matrices which have typically n squared uh, degrees of freedom, and we say that only important stuff lives in, on, uh, is, is contained within the n eigenvalues of the matrix. So in that sense, it's, uh, I guess it's, it was the first, uh, it, it's, it's pretty, it, it was uh, easily uh, uh, implemented in, in, in the early days, for example. Yes, 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 uh, you're right. Uh, it, I, will, I, will, I, will t I will tell, uh, there, is, there is a little bit different kind of formula for non-Hermitian matrices, that's right. Uh, 
but okay so just for the just for the so to 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 make to say the basic stuff i will now say uh, only in the case of hermitian matrices where in either case in this in, in other words when when the delta functions are one dimensional this works okay so where when we have only one parameter not not two parameters in the uh, so when when the eigenvalues are not uh, are complex there this doesn't work yes uh, okay, so the, uh, so the role of the role of the symmetries is also important because basically these these matrices can have some symmetries, and if they have some symmetries, typically, uh, as what the professor said, uh, the eigenvalues start to live on some uh, one-dimensional manifolds, and uh, and also we will deal with uh, special large and limit, which is very important in the in this. Uh, uh, in this area, and not only in this area, because it, it's it's also very important in QCD, and uh, basically in in our case it means only that in the large and limit formulas really simplify. That's that's a general rule. Uh, where okay, what does it mean? Large and limit means that we go with with n to infinity, so we enlarge the matrices. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, as I said before, there are there are really Dozens of models of random matrix models, and what I what I what I wanted to what I what I'm interested in I'm interested in basically uh, a certain description in which it turns out that the main uh, the main distinction between those uh, those models is either there are uh, they either the eigenvalues of these models live on one-dimensional domains of the complex plane or whether they live on a two-dimensional Two-dimensional, uh, okay. Sub, sub, sub. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, so that, that's why I, I'm saying that this is a Hermitian class because it means that you have you can have either Hermitian or unitary or symmetric or I have here the name chiral, which is a special matrix uh, uh, considered in QCD and so on and so forth. But the 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 the, the common factor is that eigenvalues live on some one-dimensional. Domain, and in the non-Hermitian class, this is not the case, and the eigenvalues are spread over the place. And it turns out what we found is that even though these two these two classes differ, at least on a on a naive level, they they differ. They seem to have a, a relate a really uh, just one hydrodynamical concept, which I will uh, discuss now. Okay. So first, I, 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 will, I, will, I, will, I will work in the Hermitian class. And the most basic example of a, Herm uh, of a Hermitian class is our dynamical GUE matrices, which means that they are, uh, these are Hermitian matrices just. And dynamical means that uh, this is just a fancy way to, to, uh, to describe them as just we have a matrix, and every entry just undergoes a diffusion. Okay, this is so. This is a fancy uh, uh, stochastic diffusion uh, differential equation. This is a fancy way of describing that. Um, uh, okay, so you have complex white noise, which means just a simple uh, uncorrelated uh, diffusion in every entry. Okay, and so now the uh, the natural question is: if we have a matrix which diffuses, how how does the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors behave? Okay. And it turns out this is this is a, a pretty straightforward uh, calculation done in every quantum mechanics course, at least for the I, I mean for both of them really. Uh, we have this this term which 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 says that the eigenvalues when we diffuse the matrix the eigenvalues start to start to repel each other. So th there is some kind. Uh, no, no. I mean, uh, when you, when you, uh, okay. So in the quantum mechanics case, is is typically the, the when when you when you have uh, when you have uh, an unperturbed Hamiltonian, right? So you can you can say that this. Yes, this is basically this is the per uh, perturbation theory. So when uh, this is quite generic, if you if you have a, if you have an unperturbed Hamiltonian, if you add some. Add some perturbation, then the then they split the the, eigen, the eigenvalues split, and wh that when they when they 
go ne near each other, they, 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 they repel, right? And this is basically this effect here. And, uh, okay, uh, eigenvectors also, uh, also have this, this, this dynamics, but the most important... So where, where is this term dynamics in W? Uh, in, the, in, the, in the initial condition. So you have this. This guy says that you add some increment every every short of, at every short uh, interval of time, but you need to have some initial condition. So in, so initial condition. The yes, is the unperturbed Hamilton. Uh, okay, so the, this is on our on, on in our setting. This is just a, this is just a mathematical feature that they do uh, repel. This, the, this one here? Yes. This is exactly, you can, you can write for every uh, matrix entry, you can write down a simple heat equation. So this is, this will be. Uh, uh, yes, and there is. Yes. Yes, so just above the diagonal and so on. And so the, the most important thing which I want to, to, to emphasize here is there is one way dependence, meaning what, what, do, I, what do I mean by one, one way dependence? These guys, yeah. they move and they, they, they interact with each other. So eigenvalues interact with eigenvalues, okay? Uh, on the other hand, the eigenvectors, they depend on eigenvalues and on eigenvectors. So the, the in dependence of, of, eigen, uh, of uh, eigenvalues on, uh, on the eigenvectors doesn't, it's not there, right? So we can, in other ways, we can just fix those guys or we can just simulate the eigenvalues, plug in here, and then simulate the eigenvectors. So the correspondence is just one way. And this turns out to be pretty important, at least from our point of view, uh, because what does it say us? It says that we can basically, we can, we can try, we can, as, as, we, as I said before, we try to look at some hydrodynamics, okay, of, the, of these models. And it turns out that if, if there is no, uh, if there's no dependence of, on eigenvectors, then we can just construct an observable which has only information on eigenvalues, and we will have some kind of hydrodynamical uh, description of, uh, of the model uh, which we were looking into. Okay, so this this uh, this observable that we we were looking into is is a, this guy. This is an average characteristic polynomial of the matrix of the of the matrix, uh, and this it is it is in the large and limit. It is uh, related to the Green's function. So I, I wrote, wrote it down here uh, by this formula. Okay, so we can basically we can c calculate a simple equation which is which is almost a diffusion equation for the average uh, a characteristic polynomial and for the fn we write down such such a guy th which turns out uh, to be a viscid uh, burgers equation okay and this is this is what i call the hydrodynamics in this uh, Yes, equation seven is exact. Equa yes, equation eight is also exact, but only in the large and limit this term disappears, and we we have we have an equation for the Green's function. Only in the l large and limit. Okay. So what is seven is exact. Yes, seven is exact. Yes, seven is exact. But eight requires some uh, correction. Eight, no, no, no. Eight, eight is also exact, but. We, in the end, we go with n to infinity to get g, to get the green, to get the Green's functions. Okay, but uh, the important f thing is that okay, here we have some kind of Burgers equations, which we, we should then say okay, we have hydrodynamics. Uh, Except that g is complex. Yes, there there are of course many uh, many. <laughs> there, there are uh, is there? There is, of course. Uh, okay, there is this problem of the of the sign, right here. Uh, yeah, I, I agree that there is there is this problem. But what we do is basically we we uh, we rotate the 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 z 
since Z is uh, it's complex, so we do the Z to IZ, we, uh, we solve it and go back to the, uh, go back with, this, with the solution. So this is, uh, this is not uh, completely rigorous, I would say, but it works. Um, and, okay, so, yeah, this is, I guess this is a pretty, uh, at least from my perspective, analytical continuation is just, uh, if it works, then it works. Is if it doesn't. Is there a simple way of seeing why 7 must be true, just looking at the definition? Uh, I, 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 okay, the, how to arrive at this guy? Uh, we, uh, it's pretty simple. You just you just use the representation of the terminal by by the co by Grassmann Grassmann numbers, and so this is this is usual trick so that you because uh, you have the average of the terminal, okay, and this is of the Gaussian process. Ah. And if you integrate over ordinary variables, you will have the uh, if you perform a Gaussian integral with ordinary variables. Yes. 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 You can. You can. We. We also arrived at uh, the inverse. I, 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 I can say I haven't. I haven't written it down in this presentation. But there are, of course, uh, there is more general form when you can look at at the ratios of the this determinants and also. Yes. It's not so. Uh, I would say uh, uh, it's not so simple to to show to uh, general audience. To <laughs> uh, at least from uh, going from here to here. Yeah, this is this is basic, basic, This is the basic equation, at least in this part. So from this from this go to here. Uh, this is as, as I wanted to say. This is pretty basic in the sense that this is this called. Call Hopf transform. If you remember the how the burgers arise arri arise in, in the 50s, I think it was the other way around. So the burgers burgers wrote down this equation as a kind of equation which has uh, turbulence and is nonlinear, and it was very nice as a toy model of, of turbulence. But later, Cole and Hopf independently found this exactly this kind of this kind of nonlinear. Transformation and they they show that it's it's it's, it's a yes so tough luck but okay I must I think I um, okay so so the the main uh, so let's say that the, the main uh, the main message here is that okay this is after taking the large and limit and what I wrote down here because there are of course many. Uh, Many caveats here, like there is a Z, which is complex, and G is not a G is not a, a density, like in hydrodynamics. So we can, but we can say that eigenvalues form some kind of fluid, which. I have just one question. Could you go back to the previous slide? Is there something similar if you would use the, the green function in your language? That is, instead of C minus H dot, you would have one over C minus. One over. You mean determinant or just the Green's function? You want to find the, the determinant, but in the denominator. Yes, there is. There, there will be a, the same type of equation, but with plus here. And then you don't need plus and variable. No. You, then you then you use complex. Yes. But. But then you have some other problems that if you want to write down the solution to this equation, uh, the the. The initial condition is singular on the on the axis, real axis. So you need to also uh, yes to, to 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 circumvent these uh, singularities. But it can uh, everything like can be done in, in this. Um, so okay. So the main message, as I as I said, is that this is a pretty robust picture. Okay. So we we looked at plethora. We uh, as I said, there are many. Many types of models of random matrices, and everywhere pops out this this Burgers equation. There are some, of course, additional terms, but it doesn't destroy the uh, doesn't destroy this this structure, which is just a first order equation, f first order uh, partial differential equation. Uh, uh, so what do you mean different models that different? Uh, the 
different ensembles, so different like, uh, I don't know, uh, if we have chiral, we're looking at uh, the block matrix, which has on the off diagonal just matrices without any symmetries. Uh, if we look at uh, Jacobi, we're looking at some uh, of some sub block of a unitary matrix and look at the eigenvalues of this guy, and so on and so forth. And uh, so, and we, uh, from our point of view, the random process is always the same in the equation. No, uh, yes, the random process is basically the same. That that the eigen. It's always Gaussian. Yes, it's always Gaussian. Yes. Yes, it's always a white noise. Uh, yeah, be, yes, going further, I mean, going to uh, some uh, nonlinear uh, noises, it's, 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 a, it's a completely different picture. Okay, but the, the, the important part is that basically if you have an eigenvalues in one, one dimensional domains, then typically a Burgers equation will, will arise. Okay, so now uh, entering the non Hermitian realm, I call this fancily. Uh, so this is what I, what I wanted to <laughs> say, basically, that uh, not everybody remembers that a general matrix has a, two sets of eigenvectors, left and right. And this is the case in a general, uh, this is the case that, okay, it is by orthonormal, so it means that it's in the, uh, that this, this one sat is satisfied, but not necessarily this one. And so, uh, in the non so in the non-Hermitian matrix, we have an additional basic observable which measures it, which we call the eigenvector correlator, which is just the delta functions, and additionally we have this. Okay, there should be a summation here, right? So additionally we have this 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 weights which weights the delta functions. Okay, um, and and also we need some Green's function. It turns out that the normal Green's function is, is uh, there, there are problems with the normal Green's function, so we introduce something which I call Q Green's function. I d didn't want to, to give you the quaternionic because the full names, at least from my, per from, from, from my experience, it's, uh, it's not a very fortunate name, but uh, Q Green's function is just defined as a two by two matrix, which, which has these these entries. So if you if you look at w going to zero, then then this hn, this that everything here uh, just cancels, and we get one over z minus x, which is basically some kind of uh, Green's function, this, this Hermitian Green's function, and this one goes to zero unless the the axis and z z's coincide. So there are these two no, new objects, and it turns out that these two new objects you can you can, as as Professor said, there is not this hotsky plemmil formula no longer works. There is a new formula which looks like that that we need to differentiate with respect to z bar, the, this guy with respect to z bar, and go to v, w to zero, and then we have the spectral density, and likewise we have uh, a certain formula for the uh, eigenvector correlator. Okay. No, I, this is this is a problematic thing. I mean, we, our group worked on that for for a long time, and we at least until now we haven't really. We don't know whether these quaternions are really something, are, whether are there something important or is it just an algebraic structure which is there. You have some with quaternions. <laughs> we would love to. We would love. Yes, we would love. Uh, would love to. Uh, Get something like that. I mean, this is uh, that's why I have reservations. <laughs> yes, yes, but that's why I had reservations to call it quaternions because we're not really sure. Uh, okay, but in in uh, in either case, what we what we do is we have again a dynamical non-Hermitian matrix, uh, and this non-Hermitian matrix is defined like. Like before, there are no constraints now, so we have just uh, complex numbers here, and uh, uh, and the the, the, the basic uh, problem here is that we have no this stochastic differential equations like we had before. At least there are there are problematic in calculating them. There are 
it, it can be done. I, we, we're working at it right now, but for us, it will it will suffice to 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 look at this this picture. And what it says is the following thing: we looked at two by two matrix, non-Hermitian matrix, random, and we we basically realized this process, right, on these matrices. And we looked at the eigenvalues and the O11, which is the one of these uh, this eigenvector correlators. Yes. Yes. This is this is pure numerics. So we used finite steps. We haven't seen any. Uh, okay. We, we have looked hard whether this is a, this is for example this guy because we will be interested mostly in this. Whether this is a numerical artifact or not. We 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 try different methods and so on and so forth. It turns it. it we we think that this is this is really it's not an uh, it's not a numerical artifact. Uh, uh, no, no. In this. One might expect something that happens for the inner process. Where you can yes, yes. That's why. I mean, this is. We we looked at it pretty heavily to 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 get. I mean, to to. As I as I say, this is just. I, I wouldn't call it any kind of proof. It's just a motivation to what follows. But it it shows us the following thing that this is this is the O O one one. This is the this is the the length of the jump, and this is the 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 distance between the eigenvalues. So these eigenvalues move around on the complex plane, and it turns out that this is the this is somewhere here. There is a minimal minimal distance between the eigenvalues, and it turns out that when this minimal value is is attained, right? So uh, exactly at the same time, the the eigenvectors blow up, and the and the jump blow up, blows up. So in the sense, in, in the, uh, on the on these stochastic differential equations, it would mean that we have some kind of some kind of, some kind of uh, behavior on both O and uh, lambdas, right? In the sense that when both these guys, uh, when both these guys, uh, th when something happens to both these guys, then the jump increases. So in the sense. This would be uh, this would be a, a, a motivation to consider also eigenvectors as an interesting variable besides the eigenvalues. Okay. Yes, we, I have plotted them, but I haven't I uh, haven't put it. In the, but it, it's just uh, yeah. The, the yes, it's a it's a random walk. It looks like there are two points which just just wibble around. And they, if if they go close to each other, they 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 they, they move. Yeah, they repel quite quite far. So it's, uh, uh, I can show you at the end how this look like. Uh, okay, so so what we found by this by these numerical uh, studies is that there are also eigenvectors in the game which maybe we should take care of, and we did it basically to to. To, to, to look at the dynamic the hydrodynamical picture similar to the uh, Hermitian case instead of looking at the characteristic polynomial we look at what we call extend characteristic polynomial which is this monster uh, it, it, it's a I mean when you live with it so for absolute value. Uh, no no there's no absolute value this is this is this are Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes. In that sense. Yes. If you put w to zero, then the, it's it's an absolute square of the matrix. Uh, so, if if you if you look at this beast for long uh, for long enough, you can say that oh, it's an interesting object because we can basically uh, we can uh, diagonalize this matrix X and and arrive at this formula, which these S's S S dagger S are exactly the uh, the the left and right uh, brackets. Okay, so if we set w to non-zero, uh, then we have information on, on eigenvectors inside this object. So it's it's there. Uh, okay, so this is this is our uh, this is of course our I would call it I don't know uh, educated guess. Uh, Yeah, but I, I, what I wanted to show you that is that uh, 
this, th this object contains both information on eigenvalues and on eigenvectors. Eigenvalues are here, lambdas, and eigenvectors are here, s dagger s. Okay? One may say that there is a whole hierarchy of these DNs. Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, the, that's what I. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I remember. I mean, the representation of the n yes. in the form of a determinant is not unique because you can put anything in place of s dagger s. No. No. You cannot because you you cannot uh, the, these are not uh, diagonal matrices so you cannot you, you cannot write down these. But if instead of S dagger S you put another matrix. But, but, this, but, but seventeen is equal to sixteen. Yes, seventeen is equal to sixteen. Yes, that's what I mean. But sixteen. No, no, no. I. I think that there are many. No, 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 no. Seventeen, which will produce sixteen. No, but but sixteen, but many seventeen. It's not true in general that this formula holds. So, th not, it, this is not. Yes, yeah, uh, these are not uh, diagonal matrices C and B. So then, uh, then this formula doesn't hold. You need some additional. Yeah. I don't remember exactly the. I understand that. Yeah. But still, there are many matrices for which this formula, this determinant value. They are somehow they up. They are given up to some some uh, some. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 You, you're right. That uh, I mean, I, what you're saying is that you can uh, you can uh, do some kind of unitary transformation of this S, for example. Does yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. But this, this does not change because what you are interested in are exactly this, this diagonal in terms of the S. So this. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I agree. I agree that this is perhaps convenient, but I just noticed that there are many seventeen. Yes. But Yes. Of this, of this, uh, of this S dagger. Yes. Yes. Or, yes. Or, 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 or the core core matrix. Okay. So, for example, if this is Hermitian matrix, okay, this is from the very beginning. Obviously, if you perform the constant uh, unitary transformation, then everything will behave yeah, in the okay. same okay. sense, the okay. same, same, same way. Okay. Up to notation of. Yes. The this is. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so in any case, there are there are both eigenvalues and eigenvectors here. Whether there is there is a, there is some kind of uh, indetermination in this. So there are two, two ingredients. First, you take 16, okay, which means that you add this additional parameter, and then you observe that you can you can you can uh, represent this as a 17, okay, and this representative uh, 17 is chosen as as convenient as possible. Okay, okay. okay. I mean, this is not. I, I wouldn't say. Okay, uh, maybe we can discuss this later if it's convenient. If it's not, I, I just wanted to uh, to put it here to show you that there are both these. Uh, the, the, uh, the information is contained in this object because from here I, I don't see it at least at, at first that there are some eigenvectors here. Okay. Besides, this is interesting from this point of view that if you don't have such a parameter, the eigenvectors and eigenvalues they couple. Yes. Okay. So you want to couple them in a yes. single uh, And it turns out, OK, now uh, now the uh, main formula. It's always a number, not a matrix. Yes, it's always a number, yes. But now the funny formula comes in. This is, the, this is an exact equation for the dn. This is nice. And it, is, it was so nice that we, uh, that we sent it to PRL and uh, Okay, it was both nice and it, it's it's pretty uh, not. Uh, I would say we haven't thought that it will be the case. Why? There are there is basically one uh, one reason why. Before we had we call, when we had u n when we had this object this this characteristic polynomials in the Hermitian case, the diffusion happened in the z plane where the eigenvalues lived. Right. So there are, there were the second the second uh, derivative with respect to z. But here there is this is this is really bizarre because the the diffusion happens in the w space which is added just for uh, convenience of, of coupling into the eigenvectors and there is no z variable here 
So the z variable is just a dummy variable which we which we plug in into the initial condition, and this is this is everything. And uh, okay, so this is basically everything what uh, what goes after is uh, is, uh, is a consequence of that. Uh, in particular, we have also we do we do the same thing basically, and just to and we we, we should expect uh, out of this guy already the already an interesting thing is that we have now a pair of Burgers equations since we have uh, this we want to get we want to obtain an equation for the this Q Green's function which is which is a two by two matrix which has two independent degrees of freedom. So we want to have two, two Burgers equations. Is there any connection with solitons here because Burgers equations? Uh, no, not that I know of. No, no, no. Uh, not that I know of. No. Because the main idea of solitons is to put together nonlinearity. Yes. Uh, and to, to make them, make them, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, okay, but so uh, I think solitons have of, uh, the f to the third power, right? The nonlinearity is to the third power, if I if I remember correctly. The third, uh, the partial, the differential uh, derivative, the derivative derivative of the third power, right? If I remember correctly, to to cancel the the dispersion. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, but it's, this is just my uh, first thought on that. Uh, but okay, so the, the so the in the uh, again we do the large and limit. We are up at these equations, and now the as we as we probably seen from this, the only interesting equation is this one. Why? Because if you want to if you want to uh, on a, uh, let's say approach these two equations, how to, how to find a solution to these guys. First we need to solve this and plug in here and solve for the second one. And if we remember uh, the, the V was, the, uh, was related to the eigenvector correlator and H was related to the spectral density. So from our point of view it seems that the eigenvector correlator is primary and the, eigen, the spectral density is secondary. Um, so that's that's what we call. Uh, that's why I wanted to uh, say that eigenvectors are crucial. And uh, okay, so fine. Uh, so the recap is the following: that the, the Hermitian hydrodynamics in terms of Burgers equation. I showed you on this this nice table that was. Uh, for 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 a plethora of, of matrix models, it turns out to be quite generic, and and the same thing happens in the non-Hermitian world, but when we include the eigenvectors. So that's the takeaway message, if I if I have any. Um, okay, this is on the. I would say this was on the this meta level of uh, nice formulas. Of course, uh, we had also maybe uh, less uh, less interesting to the to the general audience, but I needed to <laughs> put some out of. Uh, okay, so uh, this is this is a this is the first horrible formula, <laughs> which uh, which says what are the spectral densities and eigenvector correlators for a general initial condition for a general initial matrix. So as I told you, in the large and limit, everything simplifies. In this case, simplifying means that this is this is true. <laughs> so uh, you can basically set up some some initial matrix x zero and compute it. Uh, I don't know, put it into Mathematica or something, and you will get uh, and you will get the spectral density and the uh, the eigenvector correlator. Uh, of course, there are. This is not that not that straightforward because there is this r, uh, r star, which you need to find by this equation. Okay. But otherwise, it's uh, uh, 
it's a, it's a pretty, say, okay, it's an implicit equation, but it works perfectly for any x zero. Uh, and what what we can see from this equation, uh, there are two terms, rho n and rho n n. And it turns out that this rho n and rho n n are two uh, are two. Uh, Parts which play a role whether the x zero is a non-normal or normal matrix. This is uh, maybe uh, I'll give you uh, I'll give you uh, flavor. What's uh, if not not everybody knows what's a normal and non-normal matrix? A normal matrix is basically a matrix which can be which can be diagonalized with a unitary matrix, and it does not need to be a Hermitian matrix. So the eigenvalues can be complex. So in the sense, it's a pretty special. It's I, I guess it's a measure zero in, of all of all non-Hermitian matrices. But they are pretty special, and they are they are nice for for many reasons. But in general, there are non-normal matrices which which have some some residual information in them. And in particular, there is this very very oddly behaving matrix, which is just zeros on the diagonal, a, a matrix is zero everywhere, the initial matrix is zero everywhere, and just ones on, uh, on the above one a diagonal. Okay, so you have ones above the diagonal and zeros on the diagonal. And it turns out that, that such, such a guy, he, even though it has zero eigenvalues, it's, it's, it's of course so degenerate that it produces a starkly different, different dynamical picture. The, this on the right, we just start from the zero zero eigenvalues and we just diffuse, so it, the eigenvalues look like that. And if we add this this term t zero, then these eigenvalues they they basically move constantly from they move from zero in in a very short time. They spread to the to, to a circle of of radius one, and then start to diffuse. So it's a very uh, not every, not anyone I, I guess. And nobody really understands. What, what is the characteristic time? That's that's the question. That's the that's the interesting. We haven't uh, we have we have found some results, but nothing really. Explosion. Yes, the, it is. It looks uh, okay. The, why is that so? The, this is basically the this is this question of of uh, of stability of uh, of matrices on the perturbations. This matrix is is extremely uh, unstable from the mathematical point of view. Uh, yes, of course. Yes, this is yes. But this is an explosion in the uh, the large and limit. It, this is true for the large and limit. But of course, for me as a physicist, things that happen instantaneously are not very. I mean, th this doesn't. It shouldn't happen. I mean, th there should, for uh, for the finite end, there should be some scale on which. Yes, that, that's what. Yes, that's what I'm. Uh, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, is that there should be some scale on which it happens for the finite n, and uh, we haven't had any. That's true. I, the, the, so, as I said, I just wanted to say that uh, this this normal this is uh, yeah. I, I think it's not. Uh, it's just a preliminary results. I, I would say because, I, as I said, we haven't found really this this time scale and uh, okay. But any case, in any case, we have this uh, this dependence in this formula which which we looked at before and. Uh, Okay. Now, lastly, I haven't I haven't really told you about the this how to how to solve the Burgers equation, and uh, really I just show you the formula. And it turns out that this Burgers equations they they have really you, how do you solve them? You, you solve them by method method of characteristics, and uh, this method uh, basically is that you you. You 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 find some you find some uh, lines on a 
on the Z tau plane, which along which the uh, the solution propagates. Okay, and there are times when this when these uh, when these lines start to start to cross each other. So it, in this case, this, this is the place when it starts to happen. These are the lines, okay? And this is the place when it starts to, then they start to cross. And it turns out that this place, okay, th what does it mean on the physical level is that, uh, in, 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 let's say you have, a, you have a normal wave, which looks like that, then it's after some time looks like that, and after, that it looks like that, so you have a problem, right? So this is basically the place where these these, these characteristics, uh, the, where the where the uh, there is no not no more uh, single uh, no, no more uh, single value on the uh, uh, on the wave. Okay. So in, in this case, this is uh, the interesting part. Is what? What is the interesting part? This is the interesting part is that. Burger's equations, they have these, these lines, and they have these, the, the lines with, when they, they start, the, these are called shock lines. And in random matrices, these shock lines turn out to be exactly where the eigenvalues bulk, because the eigenvalue, the, this, uh, the spectral density looks typically like, for example, in the GUE case, it looks like that. It's just a semicircle. So the interesting points are these two guys, and it turns out that the hydrodynamical, uh, uh, the hydrodynamical description, description by the Burger's equation uh, has problems exactly at these points. These are the points where these this shocks develop. Okay, and in the uh, in the in the case of non-Hermitian, okay, in the non-Hermitian case where we have some kind of island of eigenvalues. This is this, the picture is different. The picture is that these shocks develop when we are inside the bulk. So everywhere inside the bulk, we are in, uh, in shock. Let's call it. So this is uh, this is a difference uh, which uh, which I just touched upon uh, now, but it's it's interesting on its own. Uh, okay, I think uh, uh, outlook. Okay, I, I think. You'll be interested in that. Uh, okay, so thank you uh, for attention, and uh, maybe some if you have some questions. That's okay. yeah, but that's that's the uh, okay. We it would be uh, yeah. In principle, we we have okay. In principle, in this uh, where is this guy? In principle, in this guy, right? We have two variables, two complex variables z and w, which we can of course we can rewrite it as a as a quaternion minus some matrix. We can write it like that. In that sense, we have a quaternion. But it turns out here that there's so no. When you see that w is rather artificial. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I said before. That even though we would like, if we had a quaternion here, uh, uh, some diffusion in quaternionic space, it would be even better, right? But it doesn't. It doesn't happen like that. Yes. I mean, I think uh, you can do it in the sense of Vic rotating and then yeah, playing with. By Vic rotation, you by Vic rotation uh, this is exactly. So At least that's that's uh, uh, that's that's my understanding of, of this quantum mechanics by I don't know by Feynman or some by path integrals is that you int introduce some kind of. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. That's a. And when you do the when you do the quaternionic part, you can get the Dirac equation, perhaps. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's a, that's a good plan for the future. Yes.